watching Dreams from the Deccan, where we'll take a look at remarkable business leaders from the southern states. Some of the entrepreneurs we've profiled in this series have made their fortunes in farming, but at least one found his calling by fleeing from them. As a young man, M. Ponuswamy was expected to work on his father's farm. Instead, he went on to create Pure Chemicals, a 1700 grower distribution company. Chances are that some part of the shoes you wear or the soap you use comes from Ponuswamy's warehouses. Here's a look at how the son of a farmer rewrote his destiny. The youngest of five children, M. Ponuswamy, had always dreamt of making it big, but his beginnings were modest. His first job was as an assistant in a cosmetic shop in Chennai, for which he got a meager salary of 150 rupees. Then in 1981, he started his own business and turned it into one of the largest chemical distributors in the country. So tell us about your beginnings and how you sort of started out this company. When I decided to start a company, I was not having any money. I borrowed about 36,000 rupees from different people, from our village, from Chennai, like that I borrowed. First month we did a turnaround, 23,000. That was my first month sales. The first year we did around 12 lakhs. So that gave some lot of first year doing 12 lakhs with small capital, borrowed capital, with the limitation we do not have phone of our own. Despite that, we are able to make some profit in the first year. With profits under his belt, there was no looking back for Ponuswami. What helped him stay ahead of the competition was a strong belief in customer service. Uh, generally, those days stall monopoly, products are monopoly. So people expect the customer to come and take delivery and customer to make payment in advance and collect the material. So that has changed. What we did was we were going and supplying them. Over phone they can tell and we can supply the material in shortest possible period. That has got good name in the consuming industries. So that has helped us to build the organization. Within a decade of its inception, Pure Chemicals had branches across Tamil Nadu and a turnover of five growers. Then in 1990, Bonuswami began expanding across India, but hit a roadblock in India's financial capital, Mumbai. Bombay is one of the hub for chemicals. So we thought we'll go to Bombay. Whenever we start a branch, we immediately get profit. First month we'll get profit. But it has not happened in Bombay. Bombay, the competition was, we are new to the place. We, when we started uh, selling chemicals, we were not making, our overheads are more. Then at that time we decided, why can't we import chemicals? Importing their material turned out to be a blessing for pure chemicals. And the decision was one of many instances in which the company turned setbacks into opportunities. Even the great downturn of 2008 didn't cause panic. At that time, everybody was trying to shrink their business. We also, our business also came down a little bit. But you know, by the time we were reaching many customers, we are taking more people, we are recruiting more people on marketing side, not the support side, like logistics or anything we didn't. But we were recruiting marketing people. So we are able to see bigger market size. We are able to identify more customers during the recession. What does the future look like for Pure Chemicals uh, going forward? Our plan of business is we, we, we want to be a strong player in Asia, Middle East and Africa. Right now we have overseas four branches. We are in Dubai, Sri Lanka, we are having in Australia. We are having, we are having a residential office in Kenya. So with this, we may add some more branches overseas. Our subsidiary companies will open in overseas. And in India also, we may add some more branches. So this, actually this growth, after some time, we may look for some PE and that. What advice would you give to budding entrepreneurs in this scenario? You should not lose heart. Everything is not permanent. If you are success also, it will not be permanent. At the time, you have to be very careful when you are successful. 
and when we are making laws you have to be very very careful the caution and perseverance have paid off pure chemicals has now gone international with branches in dubai sri lanka and singapore the company believes these are growth markets and looks forward to bringing its trademark customer service to them one satisfied client at a time and that's it for this episode of dreams from the deccan thanks for watching